countertop steam ovens may look like toaster ovens, but they differ in a key way. They inject steam into the oven cavity. We tested three countertop models. In each one, we baked cookies and bread. We roasted chicken, steamed broccoli and fish fillets, and even used them to make regular old white bread toast and melted cheese on bread. We wanted to be sure they could handle the basics as well as any steam oven specialties. Now, traditional ovens use dry, hot air and radiant heat to cook food, but steam transfers heat better than dry air. It can make cooking happen faster and more evenly. Advanced steam ovens even let you customize exactly how much steam you're adding and when. The plain steam function on these ovens is great for poaching delicate protein or steaming vegetables. You also get a steam bake function on these ovens. Here, the steam is injected into the oven when it's set at a high temperature, over 212 degrees. When you're baking bread, that steam is keeping the exterior of the dough softer for longer, so it can rise more. They can broil and convection bake using dry air, radiant heat, and fans that circulate the hot air around the oven. But as we worked with these three ovens, we started to see some major differences, not only in the cooking results, but also in how easy they were to use and maintain. We checked the accuracy of their temperature settings. Some were definitely more accurate. Buttons and settings on every one of these models took a little getting used to. This one by Winter has these little graphic icons that we could only interpret by studying the user manual every single time. Some had hot spots. One baked cookies unevenly. Some also toasted bread unevenly. Only one model gave us picture perfect toast. Racks were sometimes hard to slide in and out, or there are only a few positions where they could be placed, and that limits the oven's versatility. Two ovens also had a flooding problem. After cooking, we'd find condensation pooled on the bottom inside the oven with no way to drain it. We had to go in there with towels and soak up the standing water. Finally, this model by Fochil was too small. There's just no way it could hold a 13 by nine inch baking dish. Now overall, one model worked better than the other two, and that was the Innova Precision Oven. Unlike the others, the Innova lets you adjust the humidity level in 5% increments up to 100%. You can opt to periodically add steam or turn it off completely. Innova also offers what it calls sous vide mode, and that promises to use steam to cook sous vide without the usual plastic bags and water bath. We were able to successfully make a juicy, tender roast chicken with this mode. We also liked its big, clear window so we could monitor food. The other models looked like they had big windows, but most of it was blacked out so the actual windows were smaller. And as it pulled ahead of the other ovens in our testing, we went on to use the Innova to steam bake a Basque cheesecake with exceptional results. One of its biggest features, its app, fell far short. In theory, users can run the oven from their phones and use Innova's recipes without ever touching the control panel. Problem is, we never could successfully connect our phones to the oven. We had to back figure every recipe and set the oven manually. We hope future versions of the app are more reliable so the oven can deliver the streamlined experience it promises. In general, steam ovens are promising. They offer versatility and more precision than steaming on a stovetop or using tricks to add water to a regular oven when you're baking bread. But making the most of their features isn't straightforward if you haven't used one before. Be prepared for some trial and error. Now for more information on steam ovens or our testing of smart ovens or even regular toaster ovens without the bells and whistles, check out americastestkitchen.com. But if you think a steam oven might be right for you, we do recommend the Innova Precision Oven as the best steam oven you can find now.